Esseva, this is GF Lazable from GamerFusion.com. What is going on, guys? And welcome to Arms Day, fellas. Today, we're going to be taking a look what our good buddy old pal from the Arms Day Banshee brought for us this time around. And if the weapons we have are actually come with pretty decent rolls. So, first and foremost, we're going to look at the field test weapons, kind of break those down, see if they're PvE or we're going to have to go to PvP to actually level these up. And then we're going to look at the foundry orders. And we'll definitely go ahead and check which one we need to do in order for us to actually get a really decent roll for the PDX-43 uh, if you guys actually went ahead and got that one. Now, I do believe I had that one on my Xbox. I'm probably going to have to hop on that and uh, let you guys know on that real quick. So, what we have right now, we have field test weapons. We have the Hockey Test A, which is a auto rifle. That gives you the ability to go ahead and you have to go kill Cabal and gather data from them. So keep that in mind. PvP, PvE, I'm sorry for that one. This one is used against fallen targets to gather data as well. Another PvP weapon. Then we have the Automo using Crucible, so PvP. Then we have use against Cabal, PvP. And we have Omnigold Test RR1. And this one is used against Captains. So good thing, guys. Good things come to those who wait so pe a lot of pvp and some of the what uh pve related uh pvp related stuff so if you guys want to go ahead and level up your gunsmith now would be the time because you're going to want to do a lot of pve and uh, not do too many pvp so what we have as all the following we have the hawking armas d which you're able to pick up if you want this is a auto rifle and uh you know i wouldn't this one's you, you gotta get the right rolls for this one to actually work so make sure you guys go ahead and uh, keep that in mind. Next up, we have the Soros PDX 45, which I do plan on picking this one up for myself because last time I wasn't able to get one. So if you guys haven't picked one up, make some space in your inventory. Get rid of stuff that maybe you don't want. Uh, so let's say we get rid of, uh, let's get rid of this one and make sure you guys pick this one up because, you know, the PDX is actually pretty good if you guys get some good rolls on it. Then we have the Soros uh, JLB 47. This is a rocket launcher. I would probably skip this one. The PDX-45 would probably be the best roller to go with right now. Then we have the Arms Day Hockey uh, Junkuyo. And uh, this is a shotgun. Uh, this is not such a bad shotgun. It's actually pretty decent. Um, it's not like, oh my goodness, I gotta get it type of, uh, you know, uh, weapon. But um, it's something you might want to consider. So I would, I would skip it because the PDX is definitely what you're going to want to go with and uh, get that uh, out of the way. So... To keep that in mind. And the last but not least, we have the Omnigo, the RR4. Now, this is a sniper rifle. And this sniper actually is pretty good. I would highly recommend you go ahead and uh, give this one a try. Um, if you don't have a really good, uh, you know, PvP or PvE weapon, it's actually pretty decent. And we'll get the job done when it comes time to actually get those, uh, get those out of the way. As far as the PDX is concerned, let me see if I can... If you're wondering what this weapon, uh, you know, pretty much what this weapon's all about, this weapon is very reminiscent of the Vision of Conflict. So if you're trying to get a weapon maybe to do the raid, you're probably going to want to, you know, get a shot and test this one out. So here we go. We have the following roles for this weapon. We have the first one, which is actually pretty interesting. We have, let's see, we have SPO 26. Uh, let's see, fitted stock. Appended mag, luck in the chamber, which is pretty good, snapshot, and small bore. Okay, let's check out the other roll. Uh, we have perfect balance, which is pretty good, it gives you that nice stability. Appended mags, rodeo. Oh, I don't like that middle perk. Snapshot and reinforced barrel, giving that range but losing the stability. And we have. But almost the same scopes. High caliber rounds. I like that. High caliber rounds. I'm liking that one. We have outlaw precision kills with a dramatically increased reload speed. Snapshot and injection mold. Mm. Not really digging. Not really digging the rolls this time around. Uh, if I would have to pick one, and you're trying to figure out which one to pick, you know, I'd probably go with the first one. But I would probably hold it down for the next week to make sure you guys get a better roll. And like I said, pick up that PDX-5. Let me know what you guys picked up. If you guys picked up any of the weapons or any of the rolls. Or if you're going to hold it out and wait for the next week. Please let me know all that in the comment section down below, fellas. And I will go ahead and catch you guys on the next video. 